Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to evaluate these type of expressions. So for solving these type of expressions, we are going to be using the Bodmas rule. Bodmas rule tells us the order in which different operations in an expression need to be solved. First in an expression if there is any bracket we are going to solve that bracket. Second one is the order of power or roots. Here in this expression we do not have any roots. Third is the division. Fourth is multiplication, fifth is addition and sixth is subtraction. If we solve the expression in this order, then we are going to follow the Bodmas rule and then only our answer is going to be correct. So let's start with our first expression. In this expression, we have addition, division, brackets and subtraction. But before solving any of the operations, we are first going to start with solving of the brackets. So here we are going to write all the other numbers and operations as is. So that's 40 plus 12 divided by bracket is 15 minus 3. So we are going to solve this one first. 15 minus 3 is 12. Now we have addition and division. According to the board mass, we will first divide and then we will add the numbers. So here we will divide the two numbers. So that's 40 plus 12 divided by 12 which is equal to 1. Let me underline the expression which we are solving here. So first we have solved this bracket. Next we have solved this one, this division. And next we have 40 plus 1. There is only one operation which is addition. So we will do 40 plus 1 which is equal to 41. So our final answer is 41. Let's solve our second example where we have multiplication, division and addition in our expression. According to the board mass, we are first going to solve division. This will be 30 times 10 divided by 5 is 2 plus 17. Now we have multiplication and addition. So we will first multiply the two numbers. 30 times 2 is 60 plus 17. Now we will add the two numbers. So 60 plus 17 is 77. So this is our final answer. So this is how we use board mass. Now let's solve an expression which have more than four operations together. So for this expression according to the board mass rule we are first going to solve the parentheses or brackets. Let me underline that. We will write 80 as is divided by. Now in the parentheses we have addition and subtraction together. So for this type of expression we follow from left to right. The operation in the left is to be solved first then we will move to the right. So 15 plus 8 is 23 minus 3 plus 5 80 divided by 23 minus 3 is 20 plus 5. Now we have division and addition. So we will first divide the two numbers. So 80 divided by 20 is 4 plus 5 and 4 plus 5 is 9. So our final answer is 9. Let's move on to our next example where we have more than 6 operations in the same expression. We, in this expression we have all the operations given in board mass except for order of power because we have no exponent here. Solve this expression with multiple brackets, we will first solve the innermost bracket. So innermost bracket is the small bracket. So we are going to solve these two first. So that is going to be 2 times 25 times big bracket 113 minus 9 is 104 plus here we have division and multiplication together in the small bracket. So we will follow from left to right because division and multiplication and addition and subtraction both have the same priority. So first we will divide the two numbers. So 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 13. So this is going to be 2 times 25 times 104 plus 2 times 13 is 26 small bracket is solved. Now we have curly bracket and big bracket. In the next step we are going to solve our big bracket here which is the innermost one. So that's 2 times 25 times 104 plus 26 is 130. Now the next step is to solve the curly bracket. So that's going to be 2 times 25 times 130 is 3250. 
and in our last step we'll multiply the two numbers which gives us 6500 so this is our final answer so in this way we solve these type of expression board mass rules gives us the priority or tells us the order in which the operations need to be solved i hope this video is helpful to you if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos thanks for watching